Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. This is an advice for my Ukrainian friends that I know I have. Uh, it is don't trust Germany and France. Don't trust anybody, including the Americans or the Russians. Trust only yourselves. Why? We have, I'm just going to give you an example here. We have here an example of France and Germany supposedly ready to sign security guarantees agreement with Ukraine. So they will guarantee you that they will uh, intervene in case Russia does something after the war, after the war is over. And supposedly, if you still have a country over there and Zelensky does, with his backers don't get up, then uh, whatever happens, and let's say the Russians lose, that's the anticipation, because if the Russians win, there's not going to be any agreement, security agreement between any country in the free world with the Ukrainian uh, country that will belong to Russia at that point. So let's say in the, um, I would say, ah, let's don't put that uh, adjective. Let's say in the um, scenario that will remain a country and will win, uh, they will destroy Russia however they want. These guys write security guarantees, which is if Russia again somehow or anybody else over there, not from our side, from the other side, will attack you, we're going to intervene. Uh, we're going to give you security guarantees. Now, Germany and France cannot be trusted because they broke international law by or violated the international law by um, not living up to their signatures in the Minsk agreements. They were the guarantors plus Poland that they will help, they will make Ukrainian government follow the steps of the agreements the Ukrainian government signed. So remember, every signed document by the president, by the presidents of the country, and it's a protocol, it's an agreement that goes to the United Nations and becomes international law. Now, if you violate that, you violate the international law, which it seems like some people did, and then whatever. My point is here, Germany and France signed that they will be the guarantors Ukraine will implement it. They didn't. Don't trust them. They did that to the Russians. How do you know they were not going to do it to you too? The same. Uh, let's say uh, you, you date, uh, let's say, or you marry a, a cheater in real life. How do you think that person is not going to do it to you? or a liar, a liar, or a person who comes and tells you, oh, that person, oh, let me give you a secret. Oh, he's like that, he's like, that person, if that person does it to all those guys or to all those people, be sure he does the same thing about you when he meets those people. Don't worry. So the same here. Germany and France, they fucked you, or they fucked Russia, uh, and to you too, because you got in a war with Russia, basically, and because of that as well, they will do it to you with the security guarantees. Now let's go and read this article and I'm going to show you a picture too. The Kiev Independent, February 3rd, 2024. Germany friends reportedly to sign security guarantees with Ukraine within weeks. So this is the president of uh, opposer, uh, friends, a weasel right here. This guy is just, Jesus Christ. This is like a shoemaker. I'm, I'm not, uh, I don't want to insult, but it's like a, guy who's up there and does his little thing on the you know in the old times in the medieval times let's put it that way france is set to sign security agreements with ukraine in coming weeks ukrainian president office or ukraine's president's office said on february 3rd the agreement with germany is also largely finished deputy prime minister olha stefanishia stefanishina stefanishnia said in an interview with the Frankfurter Allemann Zeitung on February 2nd. The group of seven G7 countries and several other partners have pledged to provide security guarantees to Ukraine via bilateral ties. The UK was the first to finalize. They are the ones that are the instigators, I tell you that. To finalize such a deal with UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak Maharishi visit to Kiev on, but now, na 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 na. They claim security guarantees was the first to find such a deal. That's not true because Prime Minister Sunak said this was not. He didn't refer to it as guarantees, security guarantees. He did something else. He used a different word. He was, but Zelensky in the same 
uh, press conference, he used security guarantees. Sunak did not use uh, guarantees. French President Emmanuel Macron previously announced that he would sign a bilateral military agreement with Ukraine during a visit to Kiev in February. Okay, then, all right, you trust these guys, no problem. But let me show you something. Remember these guys over here? This is uh, Poroshenko, the, right? Then the president of Ukraine, wasn't he? Then you have Holland, right? The president of France, whereas this Marco, uh, she is the she was the chancellor of uh, Germany. We know who this bad dude is, and we know Mr. Lukashenko, the president of Belarus. So this was the format of the Minsk agreement. You got that? And these guys right here were the signatories uh, and the guarantors, and Poland was also there. So remember, if they did it to others, they will do it to you too. Okay? If the wind blows, uh, changes direction a little bit, like one degree to the right. All right, or to the east. So here, my friends, uh, don't trust them, and it's just garbage. It's like before you go, you have a uh, a saying. I mean, probably is over there in many countries as well. You're already uh, calculating uh, when you're gonna sell the hive of the bear that you're about to shoot in the forest. So you're gonna go hunting, and you already calculate. I will sell its uh, skin or whatever hive. Uh, on the market with this, but you didn't even shoot it yet. You don't even know if you will shoot it. So these guys are giving guarantees to a scenario that you don't even know if it's going to happen. Now, how imbecilic that is, is just to aggravate, I think, and to just uh, pose. These guys are just posers. Look at uh, American uh, politicians. They're all like they know you. Let me use some saxophone, baby. Uh, they're all posers. Posers is just a form, not substance. Uh, look at them. They're all not serious. Not serious. Anyway, friends, here it is. Don't trust those guys. And again, they do. They sign something about something that you don't even know if it's going to happen or not. But you do it. It's like uh, the same with uh, Barack Obama, uh, the former U.S. president, when he was awarded right uh, the Nobel's Peace Prize, which I can peace on uh, since many years back when uh, a certain guy received the Nobel Prize for literature for his book. <laughs> I was like, that guy? <laughs> Let me read it and see what's going on. Nothing extraordinary. It was political. So I said, fuck off. It was happened. It happened many years, uh, many many years back. And not only, you can look uh, who are uh, some of them. So anyway, Barack Obama was awarded that before even being in the office, if I remember correctly, before even doing anything. What, what the fuck is this? Are you going to give me the graduation diploma before I even enter the first class in college? Basically, a trophy for every motherfucker. Is this the attitude here? Among us, because they over there, they go by a meritocracy. They know what they're doing over there. Only we are supposed to <laughs> like, like maggots on a carcass. You know what a maggot is? The white little worm click, 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 that eats corpses. That's what we are. Right? This, and the corpse actually is part of us. We eat ourselves. Let's put it this way. Not one another. <laughs> or another. No, it's ourselves. <laughs> That's cannibals. That's what we are. Cannibal maggots, and they guy, uh, the guys over there are the guys who shot the body that the maggots we are gonna eat. So they shot us. I mean, oh, I'm hurting as blood. Ooh, I'm, 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 that's, that smells and tastes good. <laughs> Motherfucker, it's your blood. Uh, so <laughs> it smells and tastes good, and looks good. Remember, food has to look good, smell good, and taste good. A Japanese proverb. I think it's logical. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.